war a scourge on humanity and the planet today we stand on the precipice of a global environmental crisis one that is largely self inflicted the ravages of climate change pollution and habitat destruction are increasingly evident yet amidst these pressing challenges there is a lesser known but equally devastating threat the environmental consequences of war on november 6th we commemorate the international day for preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict this day serves as a stark reminder of the irreparable damage that wars inflict upon our planet the scars of conflict are edged not only on human lives but also on the very fabric of our natural world wars leave a trail of environmental destruction that can persist for generations the indiscriminate use of weapons often leads to the widespread contamination of land water and air toxic chemicals unexploded ordnance and radioactive materials pose serious risks to human health and ecosystems forests are razed agricultural lands are decimated and biodiversity is lost the long term consequences of these actions can include soil erosion desertification and the displacement of entire populations moreover wars disrupt essential environmental services infrastructure is vital for sustainable development such as water treatment plants and waste management facilities are frequently damaged or destroyed this can lead to outbreaks of disease pollution and a decline in public health additionally the displacement of people often results in unsustainable land use practices and deforestation further exacerbating environmental problems one notable example of the environmental consequences of war is the vietnam war the widespread use of defoliants such as agent orange lead to severe environmental damage and health problems for both vietnamese and american soldiers the destruction of forests and agricultural lands contributed to deforestation and soil erosion resulting in long term environmental consequences another example is the gulf war where oil spills and the burning of oil wells caused significant environmental damage to the persian gulf region the ecological consequences of this conflict continue to be felt even today with impacts on marine life coastal ecosystems and human health the current ukraine russia war has impacted natural environment in many ways wars are inherently violent and harmful destruction of resources can sometimes create more catastrophic harm than bombs and bullets destruction of farms livestock gardens land and other civilian infrastructure are causing food shortages severe disruption of economic activities threatening the means of survival hampering the lives of humans and all wild species and triggering displacement starvation and death due to threatened food security who can forget the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki on august 6th and 9th 1945 that marked a devastating turning point in world war 2 and had far reaching consequences like massive loss of life destruction of cities psychological trauma anti nuclear movement nuclear rage the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki remain a stark reminder of the destructive power of 
nuclear weapons and the importance of working towards a world free from nuclear threat the environmental costs of war are not confined to the immediate battlefield the long term effects can have global implications climate change for example is amplified by the release of greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels during conflict the destruction of forests which act as natural carbon sinks further contributes to the accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere these consequences can have far reaching effects including rising sea levels extreme weather events and food insecurity furthermore the environmental impacts of war can disproportionately affect vulnerable populations conflict affected regions often have limited resources and infrastructure to cope with environmental degradation this can lead to increased poverty food insecurity and displacement the long term consequences of these impacts can perpetuate cycles of violence and instability the environmental costs of war are not merely a matter of ecological concern they also have significant economic and social implications the destruction of infrastructure loss of biodiversity and contamination of resources can hinder economic development and limit opportunities for livelihoods the displacement of population can create social tensions and undermine social cohesion however it's not too late to address the environmental impacts of war we must take decisive actions to prevent and mitigate these devastating consequences international laws must be strengthened to protect the environment during armed conflicts states must be held accountable for their actions and held liable for environmental damage furthermore we need to invest in sustainable development and disaster preparedness to build resilience in conflict affected regions as much as we wish the wars did not happen wars and armed conflicts do happen causing huge problems for humanity and the earth so what can we do for it i believe we need to reset humanity's relationship with the natural world and try to balance the earth's problems through restoring the environment and by taking transformative actions like plant trees volunteer on a restoration projects eat less meat simplify your home support green businesses buy organic donate to conservation groups choose green investments join or organize a beach cleanup create a green team with your club or community work with people who support environmental projects replenish your homeland's natural resources protect and preserve human quality of life together grow and share a joyful and fulfilling journey the international day for preventing the exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict is an opportunity to raise awareness of this critical issue and to call for action let us come to a future where wars are a thing of the past and where our planet is protected for generations to come together we can build a more peaceful and sustainable world for all